Hello there, today we have mini Lego Transformers Prime Shockwave, uh, you know, and Predaking. So these are pretty generic builds. Uh, you know, not to say that they're bad, they're just really generic. Articulation, uh, Shockwave's turret can move left and right. Uh, Predator King, ball joint at the neck, ball joint on the head, ball joint on the wings, ball joint on the wings, ball joint for the legs, ball joint for the tail, and ball joint for the tail. And I guess you could consider uh, this articulation too, this thing at the very end, but uh, not really, I guess. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, that's them. So, uh,. There's also the uh, the detail in there that's supposed to represent when his chest glows when he's about to spit fire, but uh, sadly there is no fire accessory for this build. Uh, so I I just couldn't uh, figure out how to fit it to like go from his mouth. So yeah, I still have my mini Lego Beast Hunter Optimus Prime, and the the important parts are still there for scale, so I'm still gonna use them. Mini figures, the big guys. Uh, guns. And stud length, I guess. Alright, we're gonna start off with Shockwave. He's the simplest. Why did that blur? That was weird. You're gonna rotate this jumper plate and the turret. Uh, keep the turret facing forward at the same time. Uh, stand it up. Yeah, most of his body's already there. And then flip in the turret section thing up. And then, you know, rotate it forward. That becomes his arms. And there you go. You have his big tur arm, which uh, doesn't look too accurate, but trust me when I tell you, I tried. I really tried. Uh, uh, we're we're not done here though. We have this clever transformation where the wheels go back, they act as heels, and then this fit comes comes forward to kind of like represent his feet, his foot detail, I guess. And this goes to the side and back, actually, not not down, just just back like this. I don't know if this is accurate, I just like doing that, just for extra transformation steps. So I'm going to have it like that. Uh, it makes the side of his legs kind of look like Revenge of the Fallen Megatron's legs. Whatever, it's not really uh, bad, it's not really a bad thing, it's just a detail I noticed. And yeah, there's Shockwave in his robot mode. Uh, he looks good enough. Uh, obviously, he doesn't have his horns. It's too small to put any of those like noticeable details. It's uh yeah, I think he'd look like way better if he had his horns. But you know, he is how he is. Set that off. Predator King. Uh. Yeah. So, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna make sure everything is out of the way. Then you're going to rotate this entire top section. And so it just rotates. I'm gonna put the wings back a little bit like this. Drop this guy's neck. Like that. And then fold his... Uh, his, the edge of his wings to kind of like cover up his head, I guess, and just leave the tail out, because right now you're just gonna fold those out, fold these, uh, well this is breaking, it's never broke before, like at all, fold those legs and then down, down, and then around to reveal the actual front detailing of his legs and then his tail acts as a wow this is really falling apart yeah you can see he has an enormous backpack uh let me just stand now his legs are there get his arms down 
and then to make that like skirt armor you just swivel this jumper plate around and there you go that's predaking in his robot mode and uh yeah it looks kind of good from the front and then I mean, at least the wing placement is accurate. Sort of. Yeah, he has a really massive backpack. And I don't know what that little piece of, uh, that little, uh, that little silence was, but I don't know. Uh, these are okay. They're, they're, I mean, what am I supposed to do with Predator King? Like, how could I make this transform better? I'm going to be honest. Uh, if you have any better ways to build this, uh, maybe make a video and send it to me in the comment section. Uh, but, yeah. That's that. Articulation, ball joint, ball joint. Uh, if you want to consider this, like an elbow joint. Uh, just, it just looks goofy. I'm not, I'm not going to consider that an elbow joint. Uh, and head, both of them have head swivel. Uh, you know, kick out. Let's see if you can do the dreadwing stand. Kick thing. He can. Yeah, and then he doesn't have knees somehow. I don't know. Just couldn't figure out how to give him knees, I guess. At this scale. Forward, back. No foot swivel. Predator King's limbs are literally just ball joints and his head can swivel full 360. Uh, accessories. Got this little uh, Predacon fossil, I guess. Wow. Focus. Okay. Yeah, and his arm gets really thin at the end. That's uh, due to how he has to transform for clearance of the gun. So you just put it like that. And that looks kind of ugly. You know, he's holding a fossil, though. He can hold fossils. He's like, I've made the greatest discovery to Cybertronian kind. Comparisons. Oh, and by the way, you might have been wondering why his, uh, his back treads and his tank mode are, aren't there. I just kind of figured out a way to have them fold up on the back and, and do all that stuff. So this uh, black chest piece kind of represents that, and his front wheels are represented by these. And I didn't use normal studs because I thought this is, you know, it's a vehicle. It's a Cybertronian vehicle mode, so you should have different wheels, so that's why it has that. But the only uh, round uh, black pieces I have like this have that boombox printing on it. So, I mean, it kind of looks like a wheel. It's good enough. Speedrun. Their sizes are accurate. Optimus looks dumb. Many figures. And big guys. Do I even need to show you this? Pieces. Stack these two pieces. Attach these pieces. Attach some more pieces. And repeat the same thing on both sides. Then put this dark gray plate in front of them. And then this odd piece behind it. Then another one of the same piece. And attach the black tile in front and the ball joint for the arms. Attach the purple stud tile to the purple jumper plate and attach it onto the yellow or whatever color these ball joint pieces are. Then grab another one of pieces to use for the head and then one that's angled and put on the arms. More specifically only one of the arms and preferably the right arm. Jumper plate, jumper plate, purple 1x4 tile, and two light gray 1x2s. First set of pieces for Predaking. This is a very simple build, repeat on the other side. Attach the piece to the same as Shockwave with the same piece on front and then the same jumper plate and clip for headpiece. Then attach a piece like this underneath. Then attach a black 2x2. Two two. Attach these 1x2s. And then the jumper plate. Behind that you will attach the leg pieces. Then attach those pieces. Black 1x3. Tiles. Clips. Then a black 1x2 for each leg. The final part. The ball joint skeleton and what is underneath. and that little chest glow. Attach these tiles. Then attach these jumper plates with these stuff on it. On the opposite side, build something like this. Then attach that tile 
and then these pieces on the very edge same on the other side and make sure from the top view that you have something like this and the bottom view then simply from that middle anti stud you are going to connect it with this stud and there you go that is mini lego transformers prime predicating shockwave hopefully you could understand that a uh, 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 tutorial to how to build them i just didn't want to waste time so i did that uh See you next time.